Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. So today I have another video for you guys. Sorry if I count. I count. Sorry if I sound kind of stuffy or whatever. I've been <coughs> I've been recovering from strep throat and so talking is kind of painful. Um, however, I really wanted to get this video up for you guys and just kind of film the intro today while my hair is still looking kind of fresh. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to show you guys how I achieved this braids with curly ends video i mean hairstyle um i've been rocking it for about two days well i've only been rocking it for about a day now i couldn't film the intro yesterday just because i was feeling like crap um yeah so this is what the hair looks like and i will show you guys clips and video i mean clips and pictures of what it looks like the hair that i used you guys will also see this in the video as well is the lulu trash deep lulu trash Lulu Tress Deep Twist um, hair. And um, I use the color 1B. I like it because it's easy. You can separate it easily and everything like that. It's like really nice to use. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this hairstyle. Just so you guys can see, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you the back. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to see like more braided hairstyles, let me know. I'm really experimenting with my hair this summer just because it's summer and why not do a bunch of hairstyles while you can't, you know what I'm saying? So um, I can do, I did this on myself, so I can do pretty much any hairstyle on myself as long as it, the back is not going up because I can't braid that way, but you know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think. If you are subscribed to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button before you head on out of this video. That would mean a lot to me. So if you want to see how I achieve this hairstyle on my own head, keep watching. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair as usual. Washed and conditioned, I just styled it to go to work the previous day. And I'm just detangling, always detangle your hair. <laughs> just detangling. So for this hairstyle, I'm starting off by parting the middle braid in the middle that you saw at the beginning of the video. And this actually took me about 20 to 25 minutes to part just because I'm doing it by myself and I could, it's hard, you know how, if, if you do your hair yourself, you know how hard it is to try to part hair by yourself, especially a braid that's supposed to be in the middle. So I just used a mirror to kind of make sure that I was doing the right thing. And for this, I was also doing the feed-in method. So I just went ahead and I started braiding the first um, little middle braid in the middle. And I braided it for a certain amount of time before I went ahead and I put in the little attachment piece because I wanted it to be as flat as possible in the front and I didn't want you to see like if I had added anything if you get what I'm saying I'd be looking hella angry <laughs> when I'm doing my hair <laughs> it's just I have no expression on my face but I'd be looking hella angry I was watching Narcos too that show would be having me heated <laughs> So then what I do, well, you can basically just watch the video and see what I did. You can definitely do any sort of design that you wanted. I was just freestyling this. I didn't even really know what I wanted, but I know I knew, hey, well, <laughs> I knew I wanted something that started more or less from the center of my forehead and kind of fanned out. Um, in hindsight, I probably could have chosen a different um, way of going about this, but I mean, this is just how it turned out. It's, ooh. It's basically, I was about to say it's the thought that counts, but basically it's the thought that counts. <laughs> so I went ahead and I just, as I did, as I did my hair on one side, I made sure I did it on the other side and I'm just going to let it play for you guys a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'll just interject as needed. And honestly, you guys, I understand that this may not be the neatest, but you do also have to understand that I could not see the back of my head. I tried as much as possible, but I could not see the back of my head. Also, part of the reason why I my bigger braids are kind of small, and I did that on purpose because I wanted more of a flat look. I didn't want the tiny braid in the middle and then two big braids at the sides. That just wasn't the look I was going for. And I probably could have hidden... Um, how my parts weren't perfect had I made bigger braids but 
at the end of the day, like I said before, that was just the look I was going for. I didn't want it to be too bulky, especially since I had that tiny little braid in the middle. When I was pretty much done with the hairstyle, well, not pretty much, when I was done, I took some of that Lulu Tress's hair and used it to complete the braids at the back, as you guys will see how, you know, the ends are curly. So I did that just to give my hair, or like the two little curly ends, a base to start from. Um, and so that's why I did that. <laughs> and then I burned the ends, which Honestly, I shouldn't have done this, so I'm gonna show you guys how I fixed it later on. So now I'm taking the Lulu Tress's hair. Obviously, you can see what it looks like. <laughs> and I had my mom and sister around at this time, so you'll probably see a little bit of them in the background. And so what I did was I started crocheting the hair. And then I realized, you know, I shouldn't have burned the hair. And so what I did was I loosened them up a little bit and then put a rubber band where I wanted them to stop showing you here so I employed my sister for free <laughs> to help me with my hair because we were supposed to be on our way to church and like I said I had strep throat at that time so I was really weak and it was hard for me to do my hair by myself so I had my sister help me out and she helped me out tremendously it went by pretty quick thanks to her so basically what I did was and you probably can't see but I to keep the hair the three ends together I crocheted through some of the braids um so like if I was gonna crochet one little thing I would crochet it through two of the braids at the same time just to keep them together so the last thing I did was to wrap my hair or to you know wrap the little ponytail and so I took a crocheted piece and just wrapped it around and then used the crochet needle to pull it through to tighten it and it did not come I only wore this hairstyle for a week and a half I believe and that knot that I made did not come out. So one of the last things I did was to just trim it. I wanted to create layers. The layers didn't really work out the way I wanted to, but if you do it right, it will definitely look really good. So I created, I tried to create layers in the hair. And then the last thing I did was I ran some mousse through the hair just to define the curls a little bit more. And I also put mousse on my scalp or like on my hair as well. And that was how it finished. I finished it. And I'm sorry, you guys, I know the wardrobe changes. Look, I had places to go on that day. Like it, it was important. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty simple to achieve and of course with the braided hairstyle you can do any type of braids you want towards the front. Um, also you can slick baby hairs but if you guys know me you guys know that I'm just not a baby hair person which is why I did not slick my baby hairs. I really want to become one but 4C hair is so hard to slick like I know how to slick it down but like I just don't want to invest the time. <coughs> I also like put, I, I don't know if I filmed it, but I also put these kind of shorter pieces at the top just to give it a little bit more personality. I did put a few hair jewels. I wanted it to be pretty minimal, so I put the one right here, and then I also put these three rings over here, which I like, and I'm probably going to put it on the other side as well, just because I feel like it looks kind of cute, you know? You guys definitely do what you want to do with this hairstyle. It's easily like, there's a lot you can do with these braids, like, 
any sort of braid pattern you can definitely do i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to click the subscribe button and make sure to follow me on my social media snapchat instagram and twitter um if you guys want to see more hairstyle videos definitely let me know um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one thank you and god bless bye so you say you wanna get away We don't need a plane I could be your escape